Welcome to another Artemis Suite tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn more about the functions of the Mark Editor. The Mark Editor allows you to cut and trim one or multiple marks in the source pool quickly and conveniently based on time or a reference quantity, such as revolution speed. Since marks are merely references to files, your original data will not be modified by the steps described in the following. With a right-click on a mark in the source pool, you can open it in the Mark Editor. The Mark Editor now displays the signal curves against time of all active channels, including the reference quantity if one is present. Move the gray curtains or boundaries at the ends to trim a mark on the time axis. You can also enter the time axis limits numerically in the top bar of the Mark Editor. These changes immediately affect the mark in the source pool. The time section you just specified is updated in real time and displayed after the mark name in brackets. If you make changes in the time or duration area of a mark in the Properties tool window, these changes are also displayed in the Mark Editor. With the same procedure, you can trim multiple marks at the same time. To do so, first select multiple marks, for example by clicking on the folder in the source pool that contains the marks. Specifying the desired time limits or duration in the folder properties, will now cause all selected marks in your list to be trimmed accordingly. The duration of the file or files and the selected time section of the marks are displayed as bars. In order to trim marks based on the reference quantity, in this case the revolution speed, first select one or several marks containing an RPM channel. Switch to Ramp Mode in order to enter the limits of the desired revolution speed range. In Ramp Mode, you may not graphically move the time graph boundaries. Edits are performed in the Reference Quantity domain. Click on Find, and the desired RPM range is determined. The software always looks for the shortest distance between the values to make sure that only continuous RPM ramps are used. Again, you can trim multiple marks simultaneously based on revolution speed, and you can assign event names. That way, each mark in your list is trimmed to the time section corresponding to the desired RPM range. We have been discussing rising RPM curves. Now move the original files into the source pool again to cut the falling edge of the RPM curve. Click on the symbol between the entered RPM values to swap the two values. With another click on Find, the signal parts with the falling RPM range are turned into marks. That way, you now have both the rising and the falling edge of the RPM curve available as separate marks, which you can analyze independently. Additional functions of the Mark Editor are available when you work with a single mark. With a click on the Copy Mark symbol on the right side of the top menu bar, you can create a copy of the displayed mark in the source pool, for example, if you want to save several sections of the original mark as new marks. With a click on the Save Mark as HDF symbol to the right of Copy Mark, you can save the currently selected section of the mark to your hard disk as a new HDF file. This is useful, for example, if your original recording contains undesired noise at the beginning or at the end. Now you have an overview of the functions of the Mark Editor, and you are able to trim and cut marks based on time or revolution speed, for example, to limit your time domain signal to the relevant information, or to isolate a specific revolution speed range simultaneously in multiple marks.